biscuit. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm gonna smoke me a bad brisket. I got my barbecue shoes on. I got my natural case. I've got the hogs on the Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some KC venison bourbon meatloaf at the pit. And it's easy to do. And as a side, we're going to be serving up some fresh harvested turnips and greens with some ham hocks. All right. Let's put all this together. Now, here is the venison. We've got some uh, backstrap. We've got some tenderloin. We've got some roasts. We have some venison sausage. And why are we grinding up some backstrap and tenderloin? Well, it's because we can. We have a freezer full. And we've got a hankering for some meatloaf. Whoa. All right. Now, for this recipe, we're using six or seven pounds of venison. Maybe a little bit more, more or less. You'll see the exact recipe on our website, barbecuepitboys.com. And, uh... As most of you may know, venison is extremely lean. There's basically no fat. This is heart-healthy stuff right here. And uh, so we need to add some sausage. And the sausage, this venison, uh, has some pork in it. So this will add some of the fat we need. Make it nice and juicy. All right. Now, if you've never tried our KC Venison Bourbon Meatloaf before, you definitely got to check this out. This is some good eating at the pit. All right, now we're cooking a pound of bacon down with a good size onion and some green peppers. They're a long pepper. They do have some heat. And you just cook it down a bit. Whoa, that smells good. Whoo, man. Oh, yeah. Now let's... um. Let's put all this together into this meatloaf. And here again is the ground uh, venison. And we'll add the cooked down bacon and onions and peppers. Mm. Kind of standard so far, right? And here we've got a few tablespoons of uh, mustard. Use a good mustard, a stone ground or a brown mustard. Use a good mustard. And uh, here we have some garlic powder, a couple of teaspoons of garlic powder. And here we have some breadcrumb, maybe a quarter cup, more or less. And here we have some paprika. This is a smoked paprika. We got a few teaspoons in there. And of course you want to season it up with some salt and pepper. We're using some SPG. Oh, it's going to be good. And to help bind it all, we're going to add a few eggs. And I can see that Harold the Rooster is saying it's going to be good. All right, those eggs are in there. And give it a good mix. You can see how lean and rich this venison is. This is whitetail and uh, very, very mild tasting. In fact, most would believe they're eating beef meatloaf, right? That's how good this venison stock is from this region. Now, on a pizza peel, because this uh, meatloaf is going to be huge, we've oiled it up a little bit and we'll form a big loaf. Don't use a meatloaf pan because we want to keep it out of any, uh, any grease off the bottom of the uh, bacon pan. So we'll use our old hickory 14 inch and slide it onto a grill rack. <laughs> now here's the magic of this recipe. We have some KC Masterpiece barbecue sauce. This is old school barbecue sauce. Woo! This is good. And we're gonna take a full bottle and throw it into the bottom of this bacon pan because we're making up some gravy. All right, now to that, we're gonna add some beef broth, a couple of cups. Yeah. And um, here's some bourbon, about a cup of bourbon. Oh yeah, K 
KC and bourbon sauce. It's going to be good, I'm telling you. Mix it up. That's good. Now we'll place that meatloaf rack right in the bacon pan. Mm, looks good enough to eat already. And we'll throw it in our wood-fired oven. And if you don't have a wood-fired oven, you can use your kitchen oven. No problem. The turnips have been washed and cut up and they're simmering to tenderize. Yeah, oh, this is going to be good. Now, uh, up to half hour has gone by. This meatloaf is setting up a little bit. The oven temperature is about 325 or so. We're in no rush, right? That's a good temperature for any kind of meatloaf. And uh, what we're going to do here is poke some holes in it, all right? And we're doing that because we're putting on some of that KC Masterpiece gravy. And this will get down inside, give it plenty more flavor, like that. So use a wooden skewer and poke it up based on some of that gravy. Now, we have to thank KC Masterpiece for sponsoring the Barbecue Pit Boys in this video. We appreciate your support. Oh. Throw it back in the oven. Man, it's good. All right, now back to these uh, turnips. We're now uh, pan sauteing them lightly. Pull some of the moisture out of that uh, simmer we did. And of course, we got to keep basting that uh, meatloaf. Look at that. Whoa. Are you kidding me? Woohoo! Oh man, those turnips are coming good. Now, what we're doing here is uh, transferring the cooked turnips into a bacon pan and we're going to cook down those turnip greens yeah are you kidding that won't take long at all all right and in the miracle of time we're editing these greens have been cooked we're just placing them in a uh, baking pan here If you've never had turnip greens before, you're missing something out of your life. Now, we've got some smoked ham hocks that we've heated up in the boil. Oh, yeah. We're going to be eating good tonight, Martha. Look at that. This is going to be the perfect side with that uh, venison meatloaf. Now we'll take those cooked turnips, place them in this pan. I think you know where we're going with this. Oh man, are you kidding me? It's ready to finish off in the oven. Now it's time to check the internal temperature of this meatloaf. It's about 140. We want to do about 160 internal. Oh, it'll be perfect. Whoa, take a look at that. It's coming along good. About an hour and a half into this. Oh, glazing it with that KC bourbon sauce right there. We want it to taste like candy. Whoa. All right, I say it's time to pull it out of the oven. This one is done. Take a look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. are you kidding me? Man, take a look at that. Oh. Are you getting hungry or what? And again, 
Thanks to KC Masterpiece for sponsoring the Pitbulls. Makes this video possible. Now, I say it's time to eat, so let's slice this up. Place it back in the pan for serving. You got it, baby. Got my speed in my hair, baby. I don't care. Gonna put some mess. Grab me up there. Good living don't get any better than this, right? No more words to say. Now, uh, hopefully, uh, you've got somebody in the family or a friend who's a hunter and can, uh, you can source some of this uh, venison from them. If not, well, such is life, right? Throw some more of that Casey gravy all over the top. Now, We'll throw those turnips, greens, and hocks in the oven and set them up just a little bit. Only take a few minutes. And I say, it's time to eat. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.